Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. First at five, a morning squabble between brothers, leading to a shooting and then an afternoon police chase. Now that chase started around 2.30 this afternoon at Loop 410 before I-35, and it really backed up traffic for miles. RJ Marquez has been on the story today, and he tells us how all of this played out. RJ? Yeah, that's right, Ursula Stefania. So we reported on this during our noon newscast, and this has just been a developing thing since that incident earlier today. But first of all, I want to get you updated on the traffic situation out here. So we're off of the exit ramp here at the access road at Loop 410, the eastbound lanes, right before we hit 35. And you can see traffic is moving again for the most part after it was at an absolute standstill earlier this morning. So police shut down the eastbound lanes of Loop 410 right here after they spotted this shooting suspect's vehicle and this is a vehicle that they had been looking for since earlier today from that shooting. So Sky 12 earlier flew over the traffic that all of this caused. Drivers were backed up for miles on the eastbound lanes past Harry Wurzbach Road. That's actually where we exited a little bit after that and this all started around 11:30 this morning when San Antonio police responded to a shooting in the parking lot of a methadone clinic at the corner of Quincy and Brooklyn in the downtown area. San Antonio police say two brothers in their 30s got into a fist fight in the parking lot and then one of them shot the other in the shoulder area. Now it's not clear right now why the brothers were at this particular clinic. Police say that after the shooting, the younger brother drove away from the scene and an alert was put out for his car. Hours later, they found the car near 410 at Perimbital Road, but when they tried to stop the suspect, he drove away again, leading officers on that short chase in this area. He finally stopped at an exit ramp off of 410 and officers took him into custody city and police tell us that the victim, his older brother, is in stable condition at the hospital. Now, some other things police are telling us right now is that there is no word on what charges this suspect will face. He was taken to police headquarters for questioning. And again, going back to the traffic situation here, things are mostly back to normal. It is rush hour, but for the most part, things are back to the regular situation, what it should be on a Friday afternoon after this chase and shooting here in this area from earlier today. Reporting live from the nor near northeast side, RJ Marquez case at 12 news keep up to date with all of San Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.